me. Test, test, test. Can you guys hear me? Test, test, test. That's nice. That's nice. I like that. Game is going really well, by the way. We're really getting there very fucking close. We're actually getting very close to the finish now. Um, okay. So that's all done. Let me see here. We're about to ding, right? I saw that we're about to ding again. Fucking crazy. People went fucking bananas on the purpose yesterday. Yeah, we're 2k away from dinging. Yeah, this is basically almost two dings, yeah? In a few days, that's 1.2% increase. And the crazy thing is people are still just, you know, fucking around, sitting on the back, not getting them, like, while it's slowly going up and up and up. I don't know what you guys' problem is. Yeah. Which service should we use for crypto transfers? I don't know. People use Coinbase. Is there anything better than Coinbase? I don't know. Does anyone know if there's anything better than Coinbase? I have no clue. Is there a possibility that the value crashes? Of purpose and do be. If we die, if the entire place here dies, other than that, extremely unlikely. What will you do when people start selling purpose and it doesn't just go up? People just sell purpose to other people, right? I mean, people have been doing that. Like for people that don't know, uh, purpose, there is purpose that got sold for hundreds of thousands of dollars. I think about half a million worth of purpose got sold the past few years. Don't know if you guys realize that. People have been selling purpose for more than half a million dollars undercutting but what if supply goes way above demand and price stoops but what supply you mean like people undercut like crazy for someone to know what is purpose and what is the value increasing is a value from one year ago to today it went up six times six x But people that want to sell, they undercut. They just undercut the buy, the supply wall. And so far, people have been doing that for half a million dollars and it went well. Like as long you 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 go and you see people buying from the supply wall, everything below all the undercutters got basically bought out already. So yeah, and that's without the game coming out or uh, demand for the game. So that's pretty cray cray. Um, no, because once the game comes out, people will be getting purpose for millions and millions of dollars. What's the progress on third world support programs? Also, people that have been here, right? They don't sell their purpose, just so you know, because they know it's going to explode. So the only the, the the only option is that the game is an absolute horrible flop to the point of no return. Everybody here, well, 70% of the place leaves and we have to start building up from the ground up. But that's that's just like we're talking about some alternate reality kind of shit. 
uh, the, the 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 third world programs in Uganda like they're they're on hold. Corona has stopped everything. Corona has literally stopped everything. It's insane. Corona has actually done crazy damage on uh, charity programs. Crazy. It's mainly third world pro uh, countries that, that suffers the most. Not a lot of, there's not a lot of uh, reporting on it because nobody gives a shit, but yeah. If you guys think Europe got hit hard, you got to look at these other countries and these other countries, they don't even report all the death. Huh? Explain it deeper though, like Doku 2, right? What is the Doku? The, the Doku will come out with the game. You mean Chris Doku, what, what is it with that Doku? Ah, if that slowed things down, it was just an, uh, like the Doku of Chris just was, a little bit, uh, yeah, it, it fucked a few things here left and right, but overall, we got through it easy. Will all the profits of the game go to charity or are you developers taking parts of the revenue? Well, the, the, the game, all the money goes to Reese and he's basically the money man. And we are just, I mean, we're just doing this to do good in the world. Nothing more, nothing less. Where can I sell purpose for fiat back again in the DubiX platform or another one? So basically the way it works is you get do you get purpose and Dubi for Ether and you can sell purpose and Dubi for Ether. And then you gotta go back to Coinbase or whatever and transfer Ether into money. Because DubiX is merely a decentralized exchange. Ask, ask Nolan to unmute me from PMs, please, Dean. Uh, for no one to unmute you. So you can PM him. Man, I'm not busy. I'm, I see. I'm not so busy with it, man. Like when you see him on the stream, you can ask. How is Ether actually doing? Let me quickly see. Ethereum price. It's 1,800 now, 50. Man, I really feel like it's about to, to, to explode, like down, huh? that it has to, that it's about to crash. Like it's so fucking high, it's really, it looks very, very scary. You don't really tell us what the money will go to. You say it's going to raise, but and it will distribute it. Although, is there some way to follow the trail of money as you could go for charity things, got game for good? Well, Sven Eric, if you followed us, you either trust us or you don't, but we don't even have to explain what we do with the money. We can put it all in our pocket and buy Lambos. It's not a charity. It's truly not a charity organization. So yeah, like I, I don't try to tell people like, hey, uh, this and that because it doesn't work anyway. It's like if people are skeptical and they believe that we are scammers or whatever or use money for, for ourselves, then not much I can do. It's really like I'm, I don't try to convince people that we do good with the money. We don't care about money. Reese doesn't care about money. We just want to do good in the world. And uh, yeah, like the way we're doing it now is very easy. He's just a money man. Because if you work with, uh, a lot of people don't realize it, but if you work with like, um, but maybe we will work with a foundation in the future. You need to, you need to define what you're going to use the money for. Um, and even, you know, and it, it's, it's quite, uh, yeah, it's very strict. So basically, for whatever reason, there is a new technology or an emergent technology or whatever that we want to do good with, we can't use the money for it. So, yeah. Mm. 
Or Reese just takes all the money. Rafael trades a bit, yeah. I don't know if he still does, but I, I remember he traded a bit. I don't know if he still does. Six hundred cards left. Well, people are running out basically. I had a talk with Ricardo today and 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 Nolan and I have to start playing the game because people are running out. He says in seven days, actually in six now, everyone is out of work. Don't know if you guys realize how fucking crazy that is. And they're scrambling. People are already now saying, I have nothing to do. So, yeah. It means that the game is almost done. What will you do when Fiat crashes? Fiat crashes, then uh, I think purpose is going to be the least of our worries. Are people at the hyped at the compound? People seem to be more up uplifted, yeah. I think you said we should get 10K purpose, but due to COVID, we have problems with paying rent. How to get 10K purpose? You don't have to get 10K purpose, but if you, some people are just saying, how much should I get? I said 10K, but you can get less. Anything is good. Anything is better than nothing. Are volunteers allowed to play games? Well, when people come over here to have an impact in the world, so there is no gaming on their PC, but some people on their room, I don't know what they do. They watch porn and they play games, I guess. But there's no internet in rooms, so they have to download the porn, I guess, and play single player games. I have no clue. We don't have cameras, so maybe people play, maybe people don't. I have no clue. Internet is only in the working place because when we give Wi-Fi to people, they do nothing. It's the worst of the worst. The worst thing is people having internet. If we had internet in the entire building for everyone, productivity would go down by 80%, if not 90. People just don't show up. They're just browsing uh, Instagram all day and doing whatever. It's actually quite scary when you think about it, but it is what it is. There is no Wi-Fi. Some people, what they have is they have their own uh, phone, internet, and they pay for it. Why don't you have trust in your workers? Sven, Eric, you are asking very weird questions. Uh, it's not about trust in our workers. It's about uh, a reality of what we have experienced over the years. Um, internet is the worst. Is, is, is basically the worst distraction you can have, at least in our situation here. And we started doing it because people, yeah, because people were not responsible about it. So, yeah. People out of work and not having anything to do is cruel. Just give them something to do. They can go at internet from USB tittering on their phone, luckily. No, no, people always have stuff to do. Don't worry about that. But like they run out of stuff for the game. We just give them then air tests or whatever. If you Google purpose and do be the first thing you see are scam threads. If you ask on a crypto Reddit, what is purpose? The only replies are scam related. I'm not saying it's a scam. But how are people just going throw millions around at a project with such a bad sketch history to pump this? It's not 2017, still where people throw millions at any ICO. Um, I, I'm glad with that. It's good. I don't need their money anyway. Once the game blows up and people get rich, I will just have a smile and a smirk on my face and go like, go read the threads that say it's a scam. I don't really care. You know what a big scam was? GME, where everybody was saying, pump, pump, pump. It was just some fake value. And then how many people lost millions there? There's nothing that was backing it up. It was just one big, you know, hype train for nothing. 
How come you're so confident in the game? Because we have statistics. Because we already have statistics. Okay, so based on experience from people from the compound, you decided on that decision, I understand it. Yeah, of course. In the start, everybody had internet, and then we just fucking had to change it because people were just in their room all day. The game statistics are crazy. Are there any other crypto coins that you dig? I think all crypto is complete trash. I think the only crypto so far that I find interesting is Purpose and Doobie. Like literally, all these fucking coins is one big scam. It's, it's just, it's, they don't have any proper themes. Like they're just fucking pumped and dump. And, and the value is just in, 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 you know, perception. Jack shit. Like the way we do it is on another level. Even Ethereum, man. Ethereum is, is complete dog shit. It's complete utter dog shit. It's useless. Like the fees make it absolutely useless. I remember back in the days they were like, oh, you have credit card, you have fees, this and that. Look at now. Like you want to do a transfer, you got to pay fucking 20, 40 bucks or whatever the fuck. It's stupid. Uh, are you up to date with the crypto space? Have you looked into DeFi tokens? Not so much. I don't look at it. I'm just focusing on the game. We'll come out and we'll uh, we'll go cray cray. We'll we'll see how we will adapt based on the Ethereum fees. But I might really just say like, yeah, we go to another platform. Fuck Ethereum. I think your view is stuck in 2017, but I get why you say that stuff. I think people are just unaware about how much is a scam. Yeah. How can you leave Ethereum isn't purpose like a fork of it? We can just fork out of it ourselves and just copy the, the block. We can perfectly do that. If the fees don't don't get improved and Ethereum 2 is, is not anytime soon, we will just do our own shit with the like we will figure it out because the, the fees make it completely useless. We'll have to figure it out though, how we will do it. The gas price is just insane. It's basically what you have to pay for each transaction. Yeah. It's not the amount of power it uses. What is your real thought of Bitcoin going up and down, down so much? Real talk. When do you think it will peak? 40k plus days are normal today. When will the rise stop? I see Bitcoin go back to 10, 20k easy in the next month or two. I see that happen. And I see literally Ethereum go back to 400 or 300. Um, but yeah. Because the, 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 the market is too volatile. It's just too damn volatile. Elon bought 1.5 billion. Well, that's 15. Well, how much, how much Bitcoin is that? 15,000 Bitcoin or something? Or 40,000? It was almost nothing. It's like if you have millions and millions of Bitcoin, if you have 18 million in like what is like the Elon's what Elon bought is is not even a drop in a bucket. Yeah. I 
it's about making a statement. A lot of other business consider investing. It's all over the news. Bitcoin was a lot more all over the news two years ago during Christmas. I don't know if you remember. Every fucking family got into it and then it crashed. And people lost millions. They lost their homes. They lost everything. Why is purpose better than the rest of the cryptos? I don't get it. What is purpose better at than some other main or altcoins? The team that's behind it and the functionality it provides. In our case, the game. There is actually nothing. If our game comes out and it's mildly successful, there is no other coin on the planet that provides more uh, demand than uh, Clash of Streamers. If it's mildly successful. And that's why shit is going to hit the fan very fast. I keep saying it, but people are just on the side going like, yeah, whatever, whatever. And it's just like I every time, you know, but yeah, it, it doesn't matter. I, I'm not here to convince people. What if the game flops? Well, then all the data we already have, have, have gotten so far is just all flawed somehow. And then we still get analytics to see why it flops and we fix it. How casuals learn about the G4G shops? I don't care about casuals learning about G4G shop. It's about the crypto whales. Shit can happen all RNG in the end. Well, when you drop a bucket on the ground, it's also RNG whether it hits the ground. You might say like, what do you mean? Quantum mechanics, there's always a chance it starts flying, but it's extremely unlikely based on statistics. It's the same with the game. If the statistics show that it's going to make a lot of money and the audience retention is really fucking high, then it's very unlikely that these numbers are completely, completely out of, out of whack. And in reality, it will be complete failure. It's very, very unlikely. Of course, it's possible. You think COS be a game as a service? I don't get what, I, what you mean. Could games get released every single day? No one cares. That's actually not true. Every single mobile game on, uh, uh, that is out there is trash in the world. Every single one of them. There is not one that has nailed it. Not one. That's why we will take it by a storm. I see us become top grossing in the world. So how can I make some purpose to then later sell it for fiat when in game gameplay? No, you just get purpose on DBX. And if it goes up, you can sell. Yeah. There you just go to DBX and you can get it. Seychelles says, I know families where fathers commit suicide. Why do you implement bingo, blackjack, roulette slots? Are you morally accord with that? Jude, man, like, like this is not uh, any gambling in our game. Did you even try bingo, blackjack, and roulette in our game? It's just, it's incomparable. And you can also see the future. There is no gambling in our game. It's not a casino. Even though it uses the same addictive mechanics. So DBX is just the exchange platform for purpose. You can exchange all coins, but only purpose and Dubi are there. So is your blackjack 50-50 edge? The, the way it works in our game is you can see the rewards you're going to get up front. And when you play blackjack, you basically depending on your winning or losing streaks, you get more or less, uh, you get the better or worse rewards first or later. So you can see the next hundred rewards that you will get for sure. And based on how well you do, you will get the better rewards first or the worse rewards first, but you will go through each single one of them. So if you play a hundred games, you will get literally every single reward you've seen. So you still get the excitement of playing, but at the same time, uh, it's not gambling. I really think you are so crazy, but at the same time, everything you say makes sense. That is cray how cute our mind is. First thought, 
is that it is just a madman talking, then thinking about it all makes sense. Been looking at everything since 10 years, but this is the first time your business thing is actually the real shit. Well done, man. All props to your team. It's going to go crazy, man. It's going to go crazy. If you know you're only going to get trash, why would you play it? Um, you will get 100 good rewards. Like there's just a variety of rewards. So you get good ones and bad ones. Of course, if you only get all the good ones, then you're going to get the trash ones. You're going to get have to get through them to get the next batch. So yeah, nobody will do that. So the rewards aren't gambling, but the blackjack rules are indeed not 50-50 in real life with every hand. Yeah, they're just like, the basically blackjack is just like in real life. But blackjack is just a mini game. It's not, you know, it's not like, yeah. Is there any way to earn purpose or do we in the game that is not based on buffing, renting your characters? Yes, you can basically export your heroes to the blockchain with Krypton that you can acquire through Auction House as free to play. And then you can basically sell these heroes for Doobie. So you can literally make Doobie out of nothing. So yeah. How do you guys financially sustain the building and the whole operation? Well, there is one good answer to that, and it's a thing. I actually fixed all the money issue with nothing. Not magic, crypto. I literally created purpose out of thin air and it cut, made us millions. Don't have to worry. And then the crypto went up, made us millions. So it's just like we're just rolling in the cash, basically. It's called a thing, man. Why is currency called the name? Then wow, you named it. Why did I name purpose purpose? It's really a really good name. And Duby stands for decentralized universal basic income. We want to actually use it to start programs to help poor poor people. How often can you check your future rewards all the time? And like if you see you have good rewards, game the system to get them, then check again. T rewards and game it again. It only get Good rewards i'm guessing it won't work that way the rewards you're going to get are deterministic so you can't game it you can say you can get all the good rewards and then you run out but that's not the case because you have so many reward paths in the game that as you progress in one specific line you automatically also progress in the other line so you have always something to look forward to Around how much do you think it's worth to spend on the game to make the most money out of the game? That's a good question. That's actually a really good question. Uh, when it comes down to the game, but like it's a bit, it's a bit advanced, right? But it depends what you want to do. Um, I think building a community is a very important thing. Getting your family to play and 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 have your own community and and maybe even stream. Because if you're a community content creator, you, you, you basically can progress faster than anyone. Uh, it's, it's insane. You, 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 nobody will be able to, to be faster. Uh, if Soda Poppin starts playing, he will be VIP 14 in like a week, I think. Like if his entire community starts playing, it's VIP 14 in a week. It's just crazy. So um, that's the best way. Uh, the second best way is to at least get, you know, VIP three and just be smart about how you purchase. You can spend very little, actually. You can literally spend a hundred bucks and, and, and get so much out of it. Or you can also even spend just one buck and have a lot of time pass and get VIP three. You can get VIP three by spending one buck, by the way, but it will take you a year or two. You can check your madness and insanity tokens, future rewards, but you it requires one madness and one insanity. So you can only start checking one in the future. 
the next one. That's it. Let's say you're a mom. What's the end game of COS? You just want to have fun with your kids. Let's say hypothetically the game flops, people leave, everyone dumps their crypto, but no one is buying. Would you just let the people that build your game and bought purpose rot or would you help them by taking back their purpose? Um, I wouldn't give up. I would just keep keep going. I would just keep going. Like the, 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 the thing is, it, it goes much further than that. Huh? What you're saying there, it, it goes much further than that. Like if I put myself in a position where I give up, right? I'm not just giving up on, on them. I'm giving up on myself too. Like it would fundamentally destroy the trust. I have to work my balls off to make sure that we are successful. That's why people trust me and come over here. So yeah, like I, 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 I will bust my ass to see what I can do to make sure that uh, that things work and are successful. Failure is, is in the worst case scenario, only a temporary state. I will always turn it into a success. It's like when I started playing WoW, at the start I was stuck at 1600, then 1800, then 2.1, I, I reached rank one. It's like, if, if, if you look at me, you could say like, yeah, you're stuck, you're stuck. People in the chat were constantly spamming, saying you suck, you suck, you're stuck, you're stuck. I don't have that mentality. I always try to improve. I don't just, you know, let myself get dragged down by, uh, by, by set setbacks. I just keep going, and that's why I'm so successful. The plan B, if things don't work out so well, I will just see the analytics and just improve where it doesn't go well. It's like Fortnite was a flop. Uh, amongst us was a flop. There's a lot of games that are a flop and then suddenly blow up. It's not, you know, like I just keep doing what I got to do. Have you thought about contacting other devs of games, apps, and implement purpose? Nah. And they'll be there to, nah. They will flock later automatically. But why not start right now? Nah, 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 nah. And right now, it's just a waste of our time. I know you're always pushing, but in the past, you have moved from project to project. So just wanted to see if you would stick with this one, if it goes south. I go, I move from project to project, definitely. but. Purpose is is the crypto that 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 uh, the projects use. So maybe I'll change project in an alternate reality because I don't think we'll change the game because it will be a success. But let's say worst to worst, whatever, we'll just have other projects that work with purpose and Duby. Purpose and Duby is just a very very nice utility token. So we will keep building on that nonetheless. Yeah. The best thing you can do actually, right, to, to get trust or whatever is to come over, apply and come over. Oh. You can just apply, come over. You know, everybody that applies and comes over, they just leave and get stacked in purpose because they just see that it's real. It's so like here you see two guys, Ramajuano and Jedi, Aaron, they both came over. You got to ask them how much purpose they got. They fucking wouldn't be surprised they're in fucking, you know. Yeah, he was stacked before he came over. Yeah. I live in Berlin. I could be there in an hour or so. Yes, indeed. If you, if you eat meat, watch Dominion. If you don't eat meat, immediately apply, come over, man. Dance Gaming is actually streaming AFK right now. Not just Dance Gaming. Crip, it's Hafu. There's tons of streamers that got paid big time to stream these games. And I was told that, you know, streamers wouldn't uh, play mobile games. When the money is too good, the money is too good. And they will make more money streaming Clash of Streamers than streaming AFK Arena because they build a following and they can sell their skins. I'm actually happy that they did this. It's good. It breaks barriers. Does it take a lot of maintenance or does it maintain itself? The game? Ah, oh, Purpose and Doobie. No, very little. 
games you don't care about doing good we just want to have something to do daily not having anything to do when you wake up is very bad for your mentality my neighbors agree will you pay them to play the or won't you have to i won't have to because the game in its creation and its functionality already rewards streamers monetary through gaming for good and getting a part of their community that they can convert yeah I was actually considering coming over, but I have a working contract, rent to pay, etc. You don't have to pay rent here. And uh, you got to consider the following. Um, this is an opportunity you can get. And when you look back, you might really always wonder why didn't you take the opportunity? Even if you come over and you end up leaving, it's really worth it. The opportunity you can even ask the other people eh? coming over is a good experience well i hope so at least i don't have to do you you don't have to pay streamers to play the game let's say soda lyric no i won't have to you don't have to pay soda or lyric to play amongst us and amongst us just gave them a lot of views but if if you can like the thing is Clash of Streamers will be a game that is played in between sessions. They will stream, and while they're in the queue, they will just pop out the game and do some stuff with the viewers. Ah, oh, next queue, put it aside. That's what's going to happen. Like, they don't have to drop it. It's a very casual game. They will just use it in between, and, 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 and they will make so much. It will be their biggest, uh, their biggest uh, source of uh, income. Mark my words. Streamers that actually stream clash of streamers and add skins and know how to, you know, promote it a little bit, they will be uh, the biggest source of revenue guaranteed is going to be clash of streamers guaranteed. Well, the docu advertise the game. Actually, we weren't planning on doing that, right? But with all the fucking cancel culture and all that shit and with Trump and all that stuff, actually the ga the docu now, the call to action is downloading the game. And it's done in a very intelligent way. Very, very intelligent. So like I would say that at least 60% of the people that watch the docu will download the game. At least. That people that watch until the end. No, it's not going to be 30 people. The docu will be seen by millions of people. If I apply there, can I come over with my mom and grandma? I'm living with them right now. If they want to apply, sure. They they got to apply as well. Huh? I mean, you can't just grab them in a in a box and 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 kidnap them here. You, you, you got to basically, you know, it has to be with their consent as well. A teen always good at selling things. It's because I'm, it's because I'm real. If I sell you bullshit, I just say it's bullshit. I'm very direct and honest, maybe a bit too honest for my time. For, for this time, but hey, it got me really fucked. But I don't stop it. Like what I do is I have Discord after parties and I will have my own platform. Don't you guys think it's fucking crazy? I got canceled on Twitch, on Reddit, on YouTube. What do I do? I create my own Twitch, Reddit, and YouTube. Who else does that shit? <laughs> it's just crazy. <laughs> But yeah. If people want to apply, really got to apply. What is your COVID protocol? Do you have protection barriers in workplace? Yes, we do. We don't have protection barriers, but we have very strict quarantine. And uh, people that now come over have tests. Huh? 
the moment anyone has symptoms, immediate quarantine, but at the same time, like there's only a few people that go to the store. Like there is masks for people that take stuff at the door. We disinfect stuff, boxes and stuff that come in. We actually have quite serious, we take it very serious. And once the vaccine is available, we will be, everyone will just be vaccinated and it's, and then we get a, a booster shot and then we're done with this shit. We will get tutorials for noobs like me for selling skins or whatever for dubious purpose. There's actually tutorials in the game. In the game, there is video guides for everything because it has YouTube integration. Do you enjoy playing WoW or is it hassle? I don't like right now playing with shitty gear. It's nice to play when they have really good gear and we can take it serious. I don't like to reinvent myself all the time. And like, it's actually like a lot of people don't realize it, but it's fucking hard as a healer to play with people that have really shitty gear. With Pinga, it's really hard. I saw a question on how food works in the compound, but didn't hear the answer. How does it work? We just have a kitchen and a, and a restaurant menu. People can order food through a website. Yes, it's dedicated people fixing the food and we have food delivery and you can just choose uh, what you want to eat and they bring it to you. That's how it works. I didn't quit WoW. I'm still playing WoW every day. Anyway, it's one o'clock, so I'm going to be calling it a day here. People that want to uh, apply, here's a link. And honestly, for real, get yourself some, some nice sweet purpose. There's a link. It's one of the, probably one of the more important decisions of your life. And in retrospect, you will look back at this moment that I said it. And if you don't, you will regret it big time. I'm saying it because shit is going to hit the fan really any day now. Keep it up. See you guys tomorrow.